Welcome. Now that the drywall is repaired, the second tutorial is on painting ceilings and preparing trim and doors for paint. I would like to speak a moment about quality rollers and brushes. It will serve you well to get a quality roller that will not shed. This way you can paint a nice flat wall and have it turn out wonderful. You'll want to choose a high quality brush. Speak with your supplier to get the right one. It'll make a world of difference. It's extremely handy to have a pail like this one. It has a magnet on one side to hold the brush, this insert to keep the inside of the pail clean, and a straight edge for wiping the paint off your brush. I'm using a flat white seating paint. Before I start painting, I cut this nail to insert between the light trim and the ceiling. This allows me to paint two coats on the ceiling without removing the light trim from the ceiling. Start painting at a corner at a width of about four to six inches. Working around the room, apply one coat, let dry, then apply another. At the light trim, move the nail to the other side and apply two coats of paint. Now that the brush work is done, wipe off the excess paint, take the brush and drop it in the bucket, cover the paint with some plastic to keep it from drying out. Using a five gallon bucket, a paint screen, a roller and a painter's pole, roll the roller down the screen tapping the paint to load the roller. Roll against the screen to even the load. Lift the roller to the ceiling and apply one even coat. When dry, apply another. Now that the ceiling is painted, remove the pole from the roller and place the roller into the bucket of water. You can clean it up later. It's time to focus on the trim. You may have holes that need to be filled. This product is a great one. It doesn't stick to your hands like other ones do. To apply it, roll it into a ball and using your thumb, push it into the hole while using a putty knife cutting down along the surface of the trim, then following up with your hand and smoothing it out. You may see some hairline cracks where the walls meet the ceilings. You may have gaps between the walls and the trim. Cut the debris out of these areas. Use some acrylic latex caulk. Cut the applicator tip off of the caulking tube. Use a wire or the wire provided on the caulking gun to break the seal in the caulking tube. Caulk any gaps between your casing and your wall. Finger them smooth. When caulking over a freshly painted area, caulk the area, finger it smooth, let it dry, touch it up with a new coat of paint. Caulk each crack and use your finger to wipe off the excess and let it dry. It should take about 30 minutes to dry. Make sure to prime any bare wood. If you have any magic marker artwork on any of your woodwork, this needs to be primed with a stain blocker primer. It's important to sand the woodwork. Sanding removes the debris that might have been painted on. It also scratches the surface so that the new paint can bond to the old surface properly. Sand the base, the door jams, the casing, Sand all sides of the door, the panels, the panel grooves, the rails, the styles, sand everything. Be careful when sanding around the hinges.
Remove the door lock by removing the screws. Sand around that area. Use a putty knife to cut the old paint from the carpet. Sand the top and the sides of the stairboards. Use the sharp side of a sanding sponge to sand between the trim and the carpet. Now that you've sanded everything, get out your vacuum and clean everything up. You're now ready to paint the trim and doors. Be sure to watch tutorial number three, painting trim and doors. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you for watching.